Hello, in today's video, I'm going to share the top 25 whole foods that are high in the vitamin folate, i.e. folic acid. Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is a water-soluble vitamin naturally found in whole foods such as certain fruits and dark green leafy vegetables. Folate is sometimes referred to as folic acid, which is the synthetic form of folate. Folic acid is also a water-soluble vitamin that comes as a supplement and multivitamin or is added to processed foods to fortify them such as with some cereals, breads, and orange juice. The major benefits of folate are, it helps the body make and repair DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA, ribonucleic acid. It supports cell growth, division, and work. It produces specific protein and helps mature red blood cells. It's involved in neurotransmitter production, which are brain chemicals. It's also known as B9, and it's one of the body's 13 essential vitamins. It works with vitamins B6 and B12 to limit homocysteine levels and amino acid. When homocysteine levels are high, known as hyperhomocysteinemia, they are associated with cardiovascular issues. During pregnancy, folate can reduce birth defects such as spina bifida and anencephaly. Other benefits of folate are increased protection against mental conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, depression, and schizophrenia, age-related vision loss such as macular degeneration, certain cancers, and heart disease such as hypertension. Some interesting facts about folate are the body can't make folate so you must get it from your diet or supplements in the form of folic acid. Folate is the generic name for all forms of vitamin B9. Folic acid is the synthetic form of vitamin B9, i.e. folate. In some countries, including the U.S., they require that specific grain products be fortified with folic acid. This is to help prevent birth defects. Though folate and folic acid address the same processes and conditions, they are metabolized differently and thus can affect one's health differently. Folic acid is absorbed more than folate, as in 85% versus 50% respectively. Since folic acid is synthetic, the body can't use it in the same way it uses folate. With folic acid, the liver converts it into an active form called 5-MTHF, i.e. 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. If the liver is unable to convert folic acid fast enough, it can build up in the blood. However, consuming foods containing 5-MTHF instead of folic acid supplements can prevent this from occurring. Consuming too little folate or having a folate deficiency can lead to health complications such as anemia, weakness, fatigue, impaired immune function, mental issues such as depression, increased heart disease risk, increased risk for certain cancers, and fetal development issues. How much folate should you get daily? The answer will depend on age and other conditions such as if one is pregnant, nursing, alcohol dependent, or drinks alcohol regularly. This is because alcohol can impair folate absorption. Again, the body absorbs folate roughly half as much as supplemental folic acid, and the body stores around 15 to 30 milligrams of folate. Most of the stored folate is in the liver and the rest is in the blood and tissues. There is a tolerable upper intake level, UL, for folic acid, which is the maximum daily dose one can consume folic acid without experiencing adverse side effects. The UL for folic acid from supplements and fortified foods, not including folate from natural foods, is currently set at 1000 micrograms per day. Okay, so here is how much folate or folic acid specific people should consume daily. So, here are the top 25 whole foods that contain 50 micrograms to almost 400 micrograms of folate, i.e. folic acid, per servant. These are approximate estimates.
There are many more natural foods that have good amounts of folate such as bananas, walnuts, peanuts, and even eggs. I encourage you to check out the resource links in the information bar to discover what they are. But before I go, there are a few important things to emphasize. Consuming large amounts of folic acid supplements can potentially cause an accumulation of unmetabolized folic acid in the body. This means the body hasn't broken down the folic acid or converted it to other forms of folate. Generally, excess folic acid is excreted through urine, though this doesn't happen instantly. Amounts left unmetabolized will vary per individual and be dependent on how much excess was consumed, especially if obtained through supplements. It's important to note that there are no confirmed health risks of unmetabolized folic acid. However, it's not unrealistic to state that some undiscovered risk could exist, but high amounts of unmetabolized folic acid during pregnancy can affect an unborn child's mental development, though more research is needed to confirm this. High amounts of folic acid can cause side effects in health conditions such as impaired immune function, stomach aches, diarrhea, sleeplessness, and nausea. People who are susceptible to allergies may also experience a reaction when taking folic acid supplements. Such allergic reactions can be skin rash, itching, redness, and difficulty breathing. While folic acid supplements are a convenient way to ensure you receive adequate levels of folic acid per day, most children and adults in the U.S. already get enough folate from natural foods. Therefore, most people in the U.S. don't have to take a folic acid supplement. Ideally, it's best to get folate from natural foods such as in your diet. Folate is easily converted in the body when consumed naturally in foods. It's very rare that one would reach toxic levels of folate when obtaining the vitamin from natural foods. Nevertheless, specific groups of people may consider folic acid supplements. These people are pregnant and nursing women and women of childbearing age, those with celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, or condition that affects folate absorption, those with gene changes that affect how they break down and use folate, older adults, those at increased risk for having a folate deficiency due to their diet, and those who are alcohol dependent. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others looking for healthy and natural folate rich foods can discover this video. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos and until next time, take care.